Okay, I just told Carol Beth, I said, what are we doing today? And I couldn't remember what cartoon that was. Phineas and Ferb. If y'all remember that show, comment down below, girls. Yeah, and I had to do an uh, Instagram video. My Instagram will not, men will not leave me alone. And then they'll show pictures of them and their wives. So don't private message me if you've got a wife. I'm just saying. You know, fat men don't like it. So I threaten them. I let them know that fat man A has a taser. B, we still own swamp land in Lowndes County. He can bury the body. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, here's baby girl. Say hey, baby girl. Hi. We are headed to our first stop on our agenda. Oh, it's getting warm in here. Our first stop on our agenda is we are going to the therapist office to see if they've got her letter. They are still stressing that she needs to be admitted. So, they said the dentist, yes, his part's easy. She's going to be asleep for his part. He's not going to be there when she wakes up and she's recovering and later that night and the numbness wears off and she realizes there's crap in her mouth yeah, he's not gonna be there we are so <laughs> they are still saying that she does need to be in the hospital because she could be a harm to herself so we have got to go by there they open at 8 so it is 7 30 we're gonna be there when they open to get that letter and then we go to, oh my goodness, he's like a slave demon. And then we go to um, Baptist East for her pre-op. And they said as long as we have that letter, they didn't see a problem. So, and she's got her lovey. Do you see her little lovey? Show them your lovey, baby. Show them Cece. Yeah, she named it Cece in honor of our dog Cece that passed away. She misses Cece, don't you? Yes, we all do. But we love Doris. We still will always miss Cece. Always. Like we miss Jackson. Yes, just like we miss Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson was our golden retriever. We had for, oh my gosh, she was 14 years old when she finally passed away. And we had had her for forever. We got her the first year we started homeschooling because we knew that we were going to be home all day and we could actually take care of a dog. And so, and she was so sweet. That was the sweetest, that was the sweetest dog we've ever had. Cows, you gotta love the cows. Oh, and there's babies. There are babies. They do have their babies out, don't they? Yeah, they do have their babies out. Um, anyhow, so we've got to go to the therapist, get that letter, go to pre-op, get that done. We're going to meet that man for lunch at that man's barbecue. Yeah, yeah. Um, that man at Fat Man's, I'm just saying, because it is like right next door to Walmart where I've got my Walmart pickup order. So, um, and it's right now from his work. So, I figured I would touch base with him there and kind of let him know what's going on, where we're standing. And then, after I pick up my Walmart pickup order, we've got to zoom over to um, Adam's Drugs, pick up her meds, and then go to the actual dentist office that's going to be doing her surgery and pay them their copay. Honey, they, they insist they got to have their money up front before they even look at her. And I told them it was going to be Friday before Fat, fat Man got paid. And she's like, well, can't you bring us a post-dated check? Yeah, I can. <laughs> so that's on our agenda for today. <sighs> Pray for Big Mama. <sighs> but yeah, yeah. And we did find out we were thinking today was just going to be paperwork. They are going to have to do some blood test because they want to make sure that she's not anemic. 
and that everything is good as far as sugar levels and there's no surprises and this that and the other so um yeah yeah and i've already told her they're gonna have to take blood and she knows and she's good she said as long as i hold her hand so um mama's gonna hold her hand yeah yeah but um we, we're trying to prepare her as best as we can yeah so we will see y'all when we get to wherever it is we're going <laughs> We are at outpatient services. All right, yeah, this is the outpatient facility. We are still trying to get that stupid letter to see if they'll admit her. And the doctor that was actually supposed to be doing it, he's left the practice. Yeah, like packed his desk up and left the practice. Yeah, they've had a week and a half to do this. And now we're scrambling. We even called our private physician to see if he can do it. And he doesn't have admit privileges. So, I don't know what we're going to do. Hey, baby girl. She's drinking a ton of water. I told her if she drank water, um, it would make her blood work easier. But yeah, outpatient services. This is where we got to go. You ready, sweet girl? Yeah. You ready to do this? She's got her something to do. She's got her backpack. We're all set, huh, sweet angel? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, are you ready to do this? Mm. No. 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 So, all we do is just wait and we're in the lobby. And so we're just waiting, aren't we, sweet girl? Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Yeah, just waiting and looking for any home. Yeah. Yeah. How's Cece doing? Okay. She nervous? Oh. Yeah, no. Don't be nervous. Yeah, don't be nervous. It's all good, huh? Mm. No? Mm -mm. <laughs> it's going to be fun. All we're here today for is paperwork and a little bit of blood test. Okie dokie, artichokey. We can do this. You've got this, girlfriend. Alright, so we did pre-op. How'd that go, sweet girl? Okay. Went okay. They did blood work. They did an EKG. Um... Everything is good and set to go, and we finally, 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 maybe have gotten some letters straightened out. We went by her therapist. There was a mass confusion there, still a confusion. Um, we finally called our just general physician, and they were saying that he couldn't do it, and then evidently one of the nurses talked to him, and he wrote a letter stating that medically he felt that she definitely didn't need to stay in the hospital at least one night and so we still don't know what they're going to choose or decide have no clue um we will find that out i guess the day of surgery we will learn what they have decided and sweet girl are you getting ready what you do with your puppy he's in the back yep. okay um, but yeah, yeah, so we got labs done, we got EKGs done, we got everything set and ready to go. Um, I've explained to her and told her that we are going to pack an overnight bag just in case and keep it in the car just in case they do decide to keep her. We'll be prepared. Yeah, yeah. So now we are headed. We are not going to be able to meet Batman for lunch. Um, it took longer than we anticipated for pre-op. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got there a little before 9. It is now 11. So, um, yeah. But, uh, so we're going to go and pick up our Walmart pickup order, I think, first. And then uh, we were supposed to have met that man for lunch, but um, 
I've already messaged him and told him that there's just no way because we were supposed to meet him at 11. That was his lunch time. And so he's already eaten his sandwich or lunch. And so, but yeah. So you feeling any better at ease about what's going to happen? Uh, no. Uh, eh. So, but here we go. I'm going to have to let y'all go because we're getting on our start. All right. We picked up from Walmart. Pick up. Woo woo. They came out to the car and brought it out to the car for me. Excellent. And the one thing they did not have Carol Best refrigerated jello. Neither one of them. So, we're still on the hunt for that. I'd ordered two, two packs. So, um, yeah. And I need to get her some Gatorade. So, I might do that tomorrow after my treatment. I will pop in somewhere um, and see about getting, she can have an eight ounce swallow of Gatorade to take her Zoloft with at nine o'clock Friday morning, but it can't be red. They said it can't be red and purple. I ain't gotta worry about baby girl in purple. No way, do I baby girl? No. Baby girl don't like nothing purple. She gets that from her mom. Um, uh, so, purple. yeah, she likes the color of purple, but nothing to drink purple. Mm. So, um, but yeah, when I get done with my treatment tomorrow, I will probably, let's see, we're trying to get out of traffic. I will probably head on and go, I'll have to pay her copay at the dentist office. And, uh, then I'll look for those jelly things. Yeah, yeah. And uh, get her Gatorade. So I think we are headed home. It has been a long day already. Honey, you, baby girl? Yeah. She was yawning at pre-op. You were just a yawning up a storm, weren't you, sweet girl? Yeah. Are you not sleeping good? Are you worried? A little, and you're not sleeping very good. Mm. Yeah. Um, the lady at pre-op, the nurse, had made the comment that we might want to get in touch with our general, just our GP doctor, and um, see if she could have like half of one of my Xanax the morning of, and then give her half, like once she kind of comes to. Um, and I think call and ask. I think I'm going to call and ask. Um, that and see if maybe she could have like half at night to help her sleep. Just to kind of get us over this patch. Um, because she's not sleeping. Like, she's not sleeping. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to call and, and he was wonderful. I called this morning. Like I said, I was just kind of in a frazzle about, okay, nobody's kind of picking up the ball. Everybody's dropping the ball as far as. And uh, next thing we knew, he hit his office. I'm sure because the nurse, whenever I called, oh no, he can't do that, he can't do that. And I'm sure, you know, they always let him know of this person called, that person called, the, you know. He is so wonderful. Uh, he, yeah, yeah, he did that. Yeah. So I'm gonna call his office and ask about, you know, could can we give her some, just a, even a part of a Xanax, just to kind of take the edge off between now and then. Yeah. So, but we are on our way home. And um, what little bit of grocery haul I had, I will show y'all once we go. So we will see y'all then. Okay, Walmart pickup 
it's not much. It was just mainly care of us ice cream. Like I said, they did not have the jellos that I was wanting. But any hoozles. Um, we did need more sugar. Yes, we had to order it by the 25 pound bag. It's only $7 that way, so it's way cheaper than buying a bunch of little bitty bags. And it will last about a month. Um, one night, Friday night, Friday night, yeah, Friday night we're doing Sloppy Joe, uh, yeah, Sloppy Joes and hot dogs. So, everybody was making a comment they wanted sauerkraut for the hot dogs, so that was only like 50 cents. Um, tonight for my sheet pan meal, I decided that some little potatoes would be good to go with it, so I got some of the little little tiny potatoes. We're going to do the, um, I got some chicken apple sausage and uh, those multicolored bell peppers and I've got some onions over here that are screaming to be used and um, then those fresh mushrooms that I got at Aldi's. So, I just, the new potatoes, just uh, the little potatoes sound good. I had a good bit of the Mexican beans last night and some chicken left. So, I got another little bag of scoops. They were only like 80 cents. So, to kind of stretch that and make a lunch here or there for anybody that needs it. Um, for Carol Beth, for recovery, I got her some of the push pops. She loves. We never, ever get push pops. So, Mama got her some push pops. We still have a bunch of the little, just like, you know, the El Cheapo freezer. We always keep those on hand, just in case. And so we do have those, but I figured as a special treat, a push pop would be good. Um, just something different for her. Um, I did order some zucchini um, to go with tonight's sheet pan meal. Yeah, that's what I got that for. Um, I just wanted some different kind of vegetables just to kind of wing on that pan. Um, let's see. I was trying to get my total up. You had to have a minimum of $30. So, yeah. Um, I got the big fun pail of just plain vanilla ice cream. Um, she does not need the cookies and cream part because, yeah, she can't the cookie part. Um, I got two gallons of milk because the, um, I'll have to show you the protein shakes that we got right here in just a second. I've got to get this milk. i got to move some of my Mexican things around. So I can get the milk in. Alright. But I, I went ahead and got two gallons because um, for her protein shakes, it was just cheaper this way. Of um, the Carnation Breakfast Essentials. You get 22 and it's 13 grams of protein. Um, 21 vitamins and minerals. And it takes a good bit of milk to do those. So, yeah, and it was only $9. I think it was $9.78 for the 22 count. Because um, that protein stuff's expensive. Hey, sweet angel. I got meal. All right. But, yeah, that is our Walmart pickup haul. Like I said, it wasn't much to it. Um, anything important? Eh. Eh. That's our junk meal. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Hold on one second. I'll be back. I okay. Hey, Huns. It is still Wednesday. Day. Whoa, whoa. Um, we got home. Y'all saw our grocery haul. Wasn't much. It was just, like I said, stuff to kind of um, get our three things that we needed, like the sugar and that type of thing. Um, things for supper tonight. Like I said, I'm doing that sheet pan meal. We have one more pack of the um, Aldi's apple chicken sausage. It has been in there for a while. It's dated da, 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 April 2019. So it had a long shelf life. Thank goodness. 
Um, here's those baby mellow mushrooms that I picked up for 99 cents from all these this past week. Things for $1.99. Um, these are the potatoes that I got today. And then the zucchini. And then an onion that needs to be used desperately bad. So I'm just going to combine all this stuff. And uh, we are doing sheet pan meal. Um, for those of you that are new or if you had never heard of the sheet pan, look on Pinterest. You would be surprised, shocked, and amazed of how stinking simple easy it is to make sheet pan meals. And you literally, A, cannot go wrong with any combination you come up with. It's going to be great. Um, we have done kielbasa sausage and asparagus, mushrooms, um, Brussels sprouts, and the little potatoes. They are good. You can even use uh, red potatoes. Just cut them up. That's the trick. Anything you're going to use. We've done pork chops. Now, pork chops you can leave whole. Um, I wouldn't suggest using anything with a bone. I mean, you probably could and could get by with it. The pork chops we used were actually a pork tenderloin. Go ahead and get my knife while I could be cutting this up while I'm running my pie hole. Um, I'm going to do two birds with one stone. Um, the pork chops that we had used when we did it were, it was a pork tenderloin that we had had cut up at Sam's. So, or I had cut it up myself. Anywho, I got it from Sam's. Um, I, we've never done anything with the bone in it. I've done boneless, skinless chicken breast. I've done boneless, skinless thighs. Um, I've never done anything with a bone. So, I don't, I don't know if you could. Um, now, the thing is, you want everything kind of roughly the same size. Mushrooms, I'm cutting up kind of a little bit thicker because think about it, they're already on the mushy side. Not really mushy, but they're already soft. So, but um, I'm just going to kind of, and the way you do your mushrooms, oh, this is a big boy. Um, you never wrench your mushrooms. Take you a Scott towel and you just wipe. And all that, anything that you see that resembles or look like dirt, guess what, friends? It is. <laughs> it is. You know, mushrooms are grown on wet wood or wet trays. And so, it is actually a fungus. Oh, if I tell y'all all this, you might not want to eat a mushroom. But they are so, so good. And if you've never tried the Portabella or the Baby Bella, Oh, y'all, there is a difference in taste uh, between your types of mushrooms. Yes, the, the portobellas or the baby bellas um, have more of a woodier flavor. Oh, yeah, there's so much more flavor compared to the white cap mushrooms. And I'm not even sure what the white caps are called other than white caps. So, but I'm just going to kind of... Cut these up, and we are all mushroom freaks, except for Carol Beth. Becca likes the mushrooms. Bo's not necessarily a fan on pizza, um, but as far as the sheep pan meals, he is a yes man. Um, it was so late when he got in last night, bless his heart. He is working so hard. And for those of you that didn't see my Facebook post, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Um, I'd be kind of worrying and fretting over different things. The girls' surgeries, the co-pays, the, just the bills in general, and yada, 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 bing, bada, boom. Um, we can actually go online. Batman does not actually get a pay stub. It's all done online as far as, like, how much you got paid, and it's always the same thing, da-da-da, unless he worked overtime. And he did have a little bit of overtime because he was on call. Um, and so, and I've been teasing him. I'm like, we really need the money. Break something. Just go break something. 
Get over it, huh? Um, the good Lord name. The good Lord. He always does. Why am I shy? I'm not even going to make that statement. Of course he knew. Of course he knew. Um, I was able to get online last night and look at what that man's check is going to be come Friday. It won't be deposited until Friday, but you can go ahead and get online and kind of get a, you know, see what pay step says. Um, it is actually two dollars. He made enough overtime that it is two dollars shy of what we needed for baby girl, um, her wisdom teeth copay for the hospital. Yeah, yeah. So, God is good. God is good. He knew what we needed extra and he provided. Yep. Alright, so all I'm doing is I'm taking it, this onion now and I'm cutting it up. Hey, boy. Hi. Hola, como estas? Yes. Como estas? Donde esta Obama? Okay. It's the only true Spanish I know. Where's the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, he's getting mushrooms. Yeah. I was telling him we love the baby bellas. Has a complete taste from the white caps. Mm -hmm. Um, but basically, you're getting back. Anywho, yes, God, God supplied. God showed up, showed out. And I never should have doubted. Uh, anywho, sheep hand meals. See, I'm getting off track, y'all. Uh, me and Bad Girl did get home with da 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 da. I don't see him getting off track. Yeah, that's all right. Y'all know I'm going to circle back around. We just take the long way around there, y'all. We always get where we need to go. It's just like a Sunday drive. <laughs> just hang out. Big Mama's going to get you where you need to be. Uh, we're just going to take the scenic route. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, I did get home. I lay down. We both took us a much needed nap. Like I said, I don't think she's sleeping good. I know I wasn't. Um, and so we both just needed that. Now that we've got pre-op behind us, and that was a, a stressor of how was she going to handle, what was she going to do, da da da. She great. She, the nurse was amazing absolutely amazing um and Carol Beth had her little lovey her little stuffed dots and and the nurse even told her she's like now you're gonna bring your lovey with you and she's like and you make sure to tell I'm gonna point y'all this way she's like you make sure to tell them when you get here Friday that it needs a name tag because they put a bracelet on her, but they put another bracelet on me, because I'm guardian in charge, um, of I go with her. And they even did a special paper that normally whenever they call you to the back, all the family waits in the waiting room until they get your gown on and get your IV done and get you hooked up and da 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 da. And she's like, mm -mm, we ain't even do this. We ain't even playing this game. She immediately went and got a yellow paper, whatever that means. It, it's urgent. Um, and that goes on the very top of Baby Girl's chart. And first thing she wrote on that yellow paper is, Mom gets to come back. When you call her, you call Mom. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, she put on there that due to her Asperger, she had to have her mom. Um, and then she put on there uh, when she gets from recovery, and, well, from surgery into recovery. Um, she's like, and she told Care Beth, she's like, now when you start coming to, um, if mom ain't already back here, you immediately tell them you want your mama, and we'll go get mama. And then she looked at me and she's like, we will probably go ahead and get you and have you back here. 
uh, before she ever even wakes up. She said, because we don't want her waking up and looking around and panicking and not seeing you. She said, it'd probably be a good idea if, you know, if she saw you. And I'm like, yeah, it'd be a good idea if I saw her too. I mean, I didn't say that, but yeah. Any, she was so sweet. But yeah, she was telling her, she's like, now we put a, a bracelet on your puppy. Um, and that way it will have your name on it. Um, and uh, she didn't say because it got lost. She's like, now, and they'll show you on your puppy. She said, does your puppy have any bad teeth? And Carol Beth looked at her and she started laughing. And Carol Beth looked, you know the puppy's not real. <laughs> It was hilarious. It was, you know it's not real. Like, lady, are you touched? <laughs> it was hilarious. Anywho, um, yeah, yeah. We got home. We got us a much needed nap. See, I'm kind of all over the map, ain't I, y'all? Um, oh, these are actually the purple taters. Yes. Um, sometimes you get them and they have just the blue outer skin, but not the blue inside. Yes, they're the blue inside. Um, I'm still just kind of going through my vegetables. I'm trying to cut them. That's the deal. That's why I was trying to get to a roundabout. Sheen it route, y'all. Sheen it route. Um, you want everything roughly the same size. Roughly the same size, unless it's something soft like your mushrooms, and then you can go a little bit bigger with those. You can go a little bit bigger. Um, and that's why I love the little potatoes. They just have, they are perfect for sheet pan meals. Um, and to me, they have a little bit more flavor. And because you're doing a sheet pan meal, these jokers are kind of on the expensive side. But one bag will do one meal. And so I don't have to worry about potatoes sitting over there and rotting or going bad. Um, yeah, yeah. Because we have gotten to where we don't eat fresh raw potatoes like we used to. Uh, used to, honey, I could go through, we'd go through a 15 pound bag. Seriously, in two weeks. Easy. And uh, I've tried cutting out. Of course, they don't help if you still eat the bread like you used to. You know what I'm saying, Mama? Um, I'm just trying to get everything. You know what? We are going to need another sheet pan. And that's usually what I wind up doing. I usually wind up getting two. Uh, and just kind of half in between the two. If you've been here long enough, seeing my vlogs, and you've seen me do the sheet pan meals. You know, I used to do wind up with two sheet pans. I'm looking for a bigger sheet pan. I guess this is my other one. Um, but yeah, I, I was going to say, look on Pinterest. Seriously. Um, and that is where... I kind of got the, oh, I got the idea originally from Samantha, Happily Housewife. Um, and she is kind of taking a hiatus from vlogging for right now. Um, you can still go over and check out her YouTube channel and catch her old videos. She has gone back to work part-time. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, and she's kind of she's in the season of revamp and that's her 2019 word um yeah yeah hi carol beth i was telling we took us a nap i didn't you didn't take a nap nope i thought you did nope i got myself pink in um you must have been laying there watching tv nope maybe i was dreaming Anywho, Happily a Housewife, it's where I got the original idea. Um, but look on Pinterest and oh my stars and annies at the combination. And I just kind of come up with whatever kind of meat you got, whatever kind of veggies you got. We have done, like I said, a mixture of, 
asparagus are really good. Brussels, fresh Brussels sprouts, amazing. You can even do frozen ones. Kid you not, we have done frozen. They turn out just fine. We, I do not boil, you know, cook in water. I'm not going to say broil. Boil and broil. Yeah, southern. Um, I used to boil in water my Brussels sprouts. All of my vegetables, really, are steamed, like the mixed vegetables you can get at, at Sam's. It has, like, the cauliflower and the broccoli and the, the carrots. Um, I would steam those. Girl, mm -mm, put them on a cookie sheet. Spray them with a little bit of... I used the um, extra virgin olive oil spray I'd gotten at Costco. Um, I mean, you can use any kind of cooking spray as long as they, you know. Any hoozles. Um, hey, sweet girl. Where was I going with this thought? Back the train up to the station. Oh. And you would not believe the difference in the flavor. Oh, my stars and hannies. And the great thing about it is, if you have had one of those days, you literally just pop this in the oven, close the oven door, set your timer, and you can go and sit down, or prop up your feet, take a chill, and yeah, and in 20, 30 minutes, your supper is done. You have not had to do anything other than, and it, normally if I would have been smart, I would have already had my stuff kind of chopped and uh, ready to go. But I decided to take a nap today. I just, it was a good nap day. So now I'm doing my peppers. And that's kind of how I'll gauge what we do with the sheet pan meal. What veggies Aldi has on sale. Um, and I just kind of played it by ear. I knew, you know, they had the um, peppers, the multicolored peppers. And they had those um, mushrooms. And so I knew I wanted to do those. And I knew I had those onions. And like I said, I was having to make a Walmart order to get her ice cream anyway. I knew we were going to be in Montgomery. And I did not feel like driving all the way to Prattville to get her ice cream. And so, Walmart pickup was just the way to go. That and I had a coupon I was trying to use. I have not done them in a while. So, they're trying to get my... My, um... What you call it? They're trying to get me to come back, y'all. <laughs> but I've been doing all this. In fact, my little guy today, he's like, Where have you been? And I'm like, well, we have been going to the Aldi. Don't use that word. <laughs> He's like, I see you come back to the light now, hadn't you? And I'm like, well, I was actually trying to use my $10 off coupon. And the little dead burn thing wouldn't let you use it. And then I read the fine print. The fine print said you had to spend $50 or more. Yeah, no. So I might do that this next week. It just depends. I probably will. Um, especially seeing how we, it's just going to kind of depend on how Kabeth's doing. Yeah. Um, and I've got to figure out. A, it will depend on how Miss Becca. Um, she's supposed to go for an interview for school the 5th. I have to go to Birmingham the 6th for the cardiologist. And so, I really don't think Carol Beth is going to be... I mean, she might surprise me. She might surprise me. But I, re I know she won't want to sit there at that appointment that long waiting. Um, but I don't think she'd want to ride in the car that far and not feeling good. I am trying to go on air on the side of caution, uh, make plans that she's going to want to stay home. And then that way, if she surprises me and wants to go with this, then she can go with this. But I need to have a plan in place 
whereas if she can't, then, you know, someone is here at home. Um, yeah, yeah, to take care of her. Uh, I think Becca's thing is just kind of an interview, and then I don't think she actually, I know she wouldn't start school the very next day. So, I'm, I'm pretty much 100% sure she will be here with her. We still don't know. We will find out Friday, <coughs> excuse me, what time, uh, or what day and time, her tonsil surgery and adenoid surgery will be. And I have told her, uh, that man is just going to have to go with her to that appointment. I know she wants mom to go in a way I want to go. But it is just a consultation. It's not like they're doing anything that day. Hold on, I've done got all my garbage together. There. It's not like they're doing anything that day. Um, it's just a consult. So, um, yes, I'm clattering and rattling, y'all. All right. Um, so that meant, because today they told us, uh, I knew Kara Best, she has to be at the hospital at 11, and they said her surgery actually won't start until 1. Well, that's Becca's appointment time. So, and Big Mama is already on Baby Girl's list of uh, going back with her. So, yeah, yeah, it's all good. And so what I'm doing is I had way too much for one cookie sheet. So I just kind of cut everything up between my two. I'll drop something. Oh, I just have dogs getting an onion. Did y'all know that onion is toxic to dogs? Like seriously. Yeah. So I just combine everything in one big bowl. And I'm just going to kind of toss around. And mix. Oh, these colors are gorgeous. And this stretches. Like, I only had that one pack of little, five little sausage. It's great with kielbasa. Um, like I said, boneless, skinless chicken. Um, we've done it with little strips of steak way of making your steak stretch. Cut that steak up into little strips or little chunks like steak bites. Yes. And it's a way of making your meat stretch like for real. Alright. So I've kind of mixed it up and I'm just going to kind of divide and chop down. Look at those colors. And the purple of the purple potatoes. Look at that. Alright, so I'm going to do half on one sheet. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab this other sheet. And I'm just going to keep going half and half. That way, in case like, my meat is all stuck at the bottom. I don't want all my purple potatoes on one pan. Alright. So, let's divide it between the two. And you just kind of, you want a single layer like that. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? And see, you can't tell that there's not that much meat. I mean, really. They're just going to come through and they're going to, where are you? They're just going to come through and they're going to, Get their serving in the water. Yeah. So I'm going to take my spray and I am going to spray each pan. And I just kind of we're doing a cooking show. I see. I'm like I'm like the future Rachel Ray. Uh oh. Hey y'all. <laughs> I don't know what it did, but the function was not currently available. All right, now for seasoning, I don't want to overpower it too much because I want to be able to taste 
the different flavors of the veggies. So, Fallon from Moss TV. Fallon girl, A, again, congrats on that baby. B, honey, you've done created a monster with me in this stuff. This Cavender's All-Purpose Greek Seasoning. Yes to the ma'am, please, and thank you. And it wasn't that expensive. I got it at Walmart. Yeah, I did it in one of my Walmart pickup orders. Um, whoa, baby, this stuff is good. And it don't take much. It don't take much. And I was trying to look. E on sodium. But that's all right. That's all right. We just won't, we won't salt it once we get to the table. All right, so I only have it open like that far. Like, seriously, it's only going to come through that little hole. Okay? And we are just going to kind of. And see, the thing is, you can actually see it. This is the spice you can see. And so I can kind of tell. All right. Now, I am just going to put this in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. And we're done. We are done. This is going to be so good. And like I said, go on Pinterest. Look up sheet pan meals. And you will be surprised. Yeah. I know a lot of you have talked about y'all tried the sheet pan meals and love them. Um, but if you're new here, try it like seriously. It is a game changer. You can even also do it with um, fish. We've done um, tilapia and asparagus. What else did we do on that? Tilapia, asparagus. Might have been the potatoes. It might have been. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was just red potatoes. Yeah. Seriously. And it was so good. Um, all right, and that is going to, oh, I need to set the timer. So, for 30 minutes, I've got supper. It's all in like, one meal. Everything, you got your meat, you got your veggies. I'm not going to worry about a salad tonight. Um, we're just doing that. And I might ha open up a can of uh, fruit. Everybody loved that fruit cocktail the other night. So, I might open another can of I've got some pears in there. I've got some peaches. I got mandarin oranges. So we might do that instead of a, a garden salad. Um, and that's going to be supper. Tomorrow night, I've actually been invited. I'm so excited. If you saw my Instagram post from early this morning, or if you've gotten on um, Loft, like Love Loft, on Instagram, um... I had done a, a video of I love my loft. I've got on the loft top and loft jeans. And so loft had actually picked up my Insta story. And it, I'd done the hashtag love loft like you're supposed to if you have anything loft on. Well, they are actually having a plus event at the loft at East Chase tomorrow night from 4 to 7. So, if you are in the Montgomery area, come tomorrow night to Loft at East Chase between 4 and 7 tomorrow night. A, they're going to have a fantastic sale. Big Mama ain't going to buy nothing because Big Mama on a budget. But, they reached out to me wanting to know if I would come. And I told them I would love to. So, Big Mama. Yeah, Big Mama. Um, yeah, yeah, I will actually get to be at a loft event. I'm going to try to vlog from there. They said that they loved having, I know that that one time I had gone to the store, um, she loved the fact that I was vlogging while I was in there. So, yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to take y'all along with me. Maybe y'all will say, you knew Big Mama win before she became that big fat model. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, anywho. A girl can dream. <laughs> I also envision me marrying Sam Elliott, and that ain't never going to happen. I love my fat man, though. He's my Sam Elliott. Ladies, he's taken for. Don't go getting your hopes up now. <laughs> he's broken for. Um, but, yeah. 
So I think that's going to do it for tonight. Um, yeah. Well, I might, what I might do is wait and show y'all. I'll show y'all the, I'm going to come back. I ain't going to say it's the end. I'm going to show you what the uh, sheet pan meal looks like. So we'll be back in a bit. Okay, it's been my 30 minutes. My timer just went off. Um, I checked them. My potatoes are good done. Those were my main things. Um, the sausage is done. You know, I knew my mushrooms were going to be done. I mean, they were soft anyway. Um, they aren't gishy or mushy. I did want, because my zucchini, I mean, it's done. But it's a little, um, not really watery, but I like my zucchini with like a little bit of a, I don't know, sear to it. And so... Um, and I figured it wouldn't hurt everything else to have like a little sear to it. Um, I put it up on my top rack and I've turned my broiler on. Broiler, not boiler. <laughs> the high part of the oven <laughs> where the flying me is. Um, to kind of just kind of brown it and crisp it up just a little bit. Um, I'm really keeping my eye on it because I don't want it to burn. Um, but y'all, oh, I wish you could smell. Oh, I go for smell of vision. Except when Fat Man's in the bathroom, y'all wouldn't want to know about that. Um, but it is smelling delicious. Um, but yeah, if you do try the sheet pan meals, comment down below the different combos that you've come up with. I would love to hear the different combinations that y'all have come up with. While I was sitting down thinking about it, while I was waiting on my 30 minutes, um, I didn't get on Pinterest and look, I'm, I'm having to charge my phone in another room. Um, I wonder how a little... Yeah. <laughs> How a low, I can't even say it again. Low country boil would turn out. You know, like with the sausage and the shrimp and the corn and the potatoes. Um, wonder what that would taste like. I am intrigued. I am intrigued. Um, I don't know if I, I, I wouldn't like it with the crawfish. No, no, no. We called them mud bugs. We used to have them on our farm in Lowndes County. Um, they'd come up out of the ground. All right. Yes. This is what we're talking about now. Now Big Mama's cooking. All right. That was a potato they got off in no man's land, you know what I'm saying? Alright, I'm going to turn my puller up. And y'all, look at what we've got. It looks and smells so good. See how my, my sausage just got a little sear to it? That's that purple tater. It's not burnt. It's a purple tater. It's alright. Um, there's a mushroom. See, it's still holding its shape. It's not goopy. My, my peppers have turned out good. Ooh, y'all are getting steamed up. Um, but do you see why I did my mushrooms like kind of big? Um, and you can tell by the fork. I just do the fork test. I'm mainly testing them taters. As long as they are fork tender, they're done. And I knew my sausage was done. Yeah, see how my mushroom didn't fall apart when I stuck my fork in it? So that's good. Um... Yeah, my zucchini crispened up just a little bit. Yeah, see that potato is good. Um, yeah, yeah. So seriously, 30 minutes and we are good to go. And clean up time. All I got to do is snatch this full off that pan. Rinse them off and we are done with clean up as far as my cooking, you know, type thing. So yeah. 
like I said, if you come up with a combo or if you've done the sheet pan meals and you've got a different combination, comment down below. I'd love to hear. Butternut squash is another one we had done. Sweet potatoes, butternut squash. That was something else we had done with some fish one time. We did um, Brussels sprouts and butternut squash and some um, tilapia. And the boys had done salmon. Yeah, I am not a salmon girl. I like fish as long as it ain't fishy. Tasting, you know what I'm saying? But th that is seriously it. So, usually I will do a side salad to go with it. Um, we've even done rice. Take and plate this up and put it over rice. It, it is wonderful, especially if you don't have the potatoes. You can put it over rice and kind of stretch a meal. I had done it with um, chicken and like the mixed vegetables that was the cauliflower, the broccoli, and the carrots. And I put pineapple on it and made like a stir fry type thing and just put uh, teriyaki sauce. Yeah. And, and just did it over rice and made like a, a stir fry type meal. And that turned out excellent. Yes. Um, it's a great way of using up like extra leftover veggies that you've got. Or if, like I said, if they've got veggies on sale and you aren't quite sure about what to do with them. Um, yeah, get them. Get them and then just whatever meat they have on sale. Uh, do a sheet pan meal. You know, if you know you've got one of those busy, hectic days. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to kind of stir around, make sure that those spices are kind of mixed in and all over everything. Stir this one around. This pan seems to kind of stuck just a little bit, but that's all right when you're going to stir. Yeah, there it goes. It's coming up. And we are ready to eat. So seriously. Yeah. But yeah, can't get no simpler than that. So put on those pearls. Get out your sheet pans. Come up with some ideas. Comment down to Big Mama down below about how you are going to do a sheet pan meal. I would love to hear your ideas. And we will see y'all tomorrow.